Hey guys, it's DK White. Um, in today's video, I'm going to talk about this guitar right here, my Squire Bullet Strat that I've owned for about six years now. It's my first electric guitar, and talk about the pickups I put in this, Fender Noiseless pickups, and see how much of a difference they make in the sound quality of this guitar. Alright, so I've had this guitar for about five, six years, and... It was all stock Squire parts. The first modification I did was these Fender locking tuners. Got that quite a few years ago. And more recently, I bought these Fender noiseless pickups and dropped them in here. And at first, I didn't like them, so I went back to my... Uh, actually, I got a Seymour Duncan Hot Rail first. Didn't like that in the this guitar. And then I just put a cheap Chinese HSH pickguard on here, which you guys saw in some of my uh, previous videos. Um, but I wanted to go back to like a really good Strat sound out of this, so I decided to slap these things back in here and I figured I'd show you the sounds this guitar is capable of now. Um, so I'm just going to go through all the clips. Um, basically these are just Fender Noiseless pickups is what they put in their um, Elite Series, uh, the American Strats and they also put it into their Deluxe Mexican Strats. Um, I've played plenty of guitars with these in them. They're pretty good sounding pickups. They're not true single coil sound because they obviously have a double coil to make them noiseless but they for being double coil and not being true single coil, they actually sound pretty good, and you can get some pretty authentic single coil tones out of it. So I'm going to go through all the tones, and start on the neck, go in, the bet in between. I'm going to do it on some clean, I'm going to do it on some dirty, and I'll even probably do a little backing track um, and a little lead line at the end um, to show you guys what this thing's fully capable of. So without further ado, I'm just going to switch over to that, and I'll see you there. That was pretty much all the tones from this guitar. Um, I did the clean, did the dirty. Now I'm going to go to a little song that I came up with using the riff that I just demoed um, and show you lead-wise what this is capable of, um, how much it sustains, everything about them, and um, also mess with different pickup configurations and the rhythm and in the lead, go between some clean and some dirty settings, and we'll see what this comes out like and see how you guys like it.
All right, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed what these pickups sounded like. Um, I actually think that my first impressions on these back when I originally had them, I didn't like them that much because I wasn't crazy about the single coil sound. But now, with all the different sounds I've been messing around with lately, um, having single coil sounds, doing the in-between sounds, wanting humbucker sounds like out of my Ibanez AZ, I can appreciate a guitar like this that just it sounds like a Strat. And it's nice to have in my collection something that sounds like a Strat, plays like a Strat, and just has that sound quality you expect from Fender, which is really is just a Squire Strat. So it, honestly, I got my money's worth out of this. Really cost me 130 bucks to get this guitar. Upgrades, maybe 200, 250 in upgrades between the pickups and the tuners. Um, yeah, no, just over $200. So really, it this guitar plays like a Fender for probably half the price. So I'm impressed with what I got out of this. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, leave in the comments whether you like the sound of it, if you thought maybe it um, didn't quite sound like a Fender, or um, tell me any other thoughts you might have. And feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to know when I upload new videos. And I've been DK White. And I'll see you in the next video. See ya.